what's happening to YouTube. So, update on what is happening, what's going on. The, uh, what did we just build? The flatbed for the white truck is done. Got that all fabbed up. And I, uh, I would have taken some video, but I'm obviously have the gooseneck and the Duramax. So call this a Duramax video if you want, whatever. Uh, the white truck is currently on it, but I knew I was going to have to come get it and move stuff around anyways because the taillights and all that stuff are off of the white truck, so I'm not going to drive that without taillights. So I figured I'd come pick it up. Anyways, what happened is I'm in the gray truck coming up here this morning and turned into my cousin's place and the brake pedal went pretty soft and squishy. Didn't really think anything of it. That pedal's been sort of soft and squishy for quite a while. I did the pads and rotors and on it, calipers, that's all good. So it's like, whatever. We go to uh, put the flatbed in the back of the gray truck. So I was just gonna use that and take it into town. No brakes, none, pedal goes straight to the floor. Bummer. So the lovely Michigan weather, what you see we're driving in here while it looks like snow on the road there's also this lovely stuff called salt <laughs> and uh, the salt pretty much destroys everything on the vehicles up here and uh, that's why you don't see very many older vehicles driving around up here so anyways the brake lines finally blew apart on the gray truck so it really wasn't that big of a deal chad just had to give me a ride back to my house so i could get this instead of driving the gray truck so i went back to my house got this put the gray truck on the trailer put the flatbed on the trailer took both into town uh, some things i will be a mechanic on brakes wheel bearings radiators on dump trucks Racing things, certain things, I will. But brake lines, I won't. <laughs> Just won't do brake lines. So the gray truck is in the shop. They said they could get to it tomorrow, so that's cool. Um, that will get fixed, and the flatbed will get sandblasted, powder coated, e coated, whatever. That ought to be good shocks came in for the white truck so they are here uh, obviously you have the white truck on the trailer that's gonna go into the shop get it dried off we got some really cool stuff for the frame that the auto parts store had the frame and all the axles and everything the axle uh, I'll shoot a video of that it said do not get it on your hands whatever you do don't get this stuff on your hands so Evidently, I don't want to get it on my hand to make sure I wear a glove before I put that undercoating stuff on. You paint it on with a brush, that's how you're supposed to do it. So, that is really the update. You know, like, if y'all are looking for a Duramax video, pulling heavyweight, I don't think this just isn't the one. Uh, the trailer weighs 6,000 pounds, the truck probably weighs, call it four the bed off it's probably 4,500 pounds with the bed on normally so call it 4,000 pounds like you really don't know it's there I mean it's in tow haul mode we're doing 60 uh, you don't know it's there I mean you do but you don't it's not you know you can feel the weight of the trailer like any trailer but yeah, it pulls it really, really well. I love the Duramax. I love a, a diesel, period, for pulling really anything. They just are so much quieter. They're so much nicer uh, just to pull stuff from. So I guess we're under a snowstorm warning. It's supposed to get like 10 inches by tomorrow. We will see. Uh, it's really it, my friends. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'll end the video now. Uh, that's all what's happening yeah that's just it's funny if it's not one thing it's another it's always 
I was thinking about this video and what I was going to say on it and how I was going to frame it earlier and I was like, man, it's almost like with an excavation company, it's like, it's a business where a lot of what you get to do is to fix broken crap. <laughs> and I say crap. Things always break. It's just crazy how much stuff breaks and needs repair. I mean, it's it's uh, it's not one thing; it's another. So, and even with, I have had a lot better luck with new stuff. Like the trailer's been good, the skid steer's been good, the truck's been good, or this this Duramax has been good. The old Duramax was good. Um, the white truck is like 20 years old, so it's always, you know, needed a battery, an alternator, uh, CV, yeah, it's always needed something, hit a tree, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, things always break, you just got to go with the flow, get them fixed, keep them up as well as you can, and uh, move on to the next. Right, here's the whitey update, not so white or half white. We've got... I got chassis saver. Let me show you the chassis saver. It's in a can. This stuff right here, chassis saver. Do not get it on your skin like I did right there. I guess it doesn't come off, so it's gonna have to wear off. But this stuff worked awesome to paint the whole frame, get everything cleaned up. Uh, I just scuffed it down with the wire brushes. That's all it says that you're supposed to do. Just scuff it down with the wire brush and uh paint it you can spray it too but I don't have the spray equipment so just painted that on pulled the leaf springs apart got the other the bottom leaf painted as well because I got an add a leaf coming for that and new u-bolts um, so that'll go on that should be here tomorrow which is Monday also have the Rancho RS 5000 the new shocks so that ought to help a lot. The old shock surprisingly still work. Check these things out. Look at these. Probably the original OE equipment, but they still work. They're not leaky. You know, so they're not bad. They're not nearly what the ranchos are going to be. Um, what else? They spray painted, just got the rockers primed with some rust primer. Spiff that up a little bit. This was such a nightmare. So these are the wiring harnesses for the rear lights and the oval lights that I got. I spent like all day yesterday, literally all day yesterday trying to wire those in. But I was trying to do it wrong because the... On the GMs and probably on most vehicles, like this is the turn signal circuit right here. And then this is your brake. Uh, your braking, or that's your running circuit. Well, that's, this is another separate circuit. So the way those oval lights that are going to go in it, they don't, uh, the turn and the stop circuit are on one light. And you can't wire them in that way. Anyways, long story short, and a couple fuses later, and uh, a couple trips to the hardware store, like finally figured it out. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, that was fun. So, that's where the white truck's at. The flatbed is in the shop getting painted in town. And, yeah, like I said, the shocks or the springs and the U bolts should be here tomorrow so I can get that bolted up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping that the U bolts. Or not the U-bolts. I'm really hoping that the springs that I got, the Adelies, they say they give it like an inch and a half to two inches of lift more. So I'm sure that will ring true. Um, and then it's also supposed to help the capacity because I would like some extra capacity with this thing. The bed is going to be really close to the overall same weight of the original truck bed. So that's pretty good. We're probably... It's really close. I mean, picking up the truck bed, the original one, and then picking up the new frame, they're really close to the same weight just by feel. Um, but once I put the wood in it, 
get that on there might be a hair more but overall I would just like it to be able to carry a little bit more weight and the leaf springs were cheaper than all new springs I found some whole new springs with added capacity I think a three leaf versus or no that's one two three it was a four leaf versus the three leaf was only like 130 bucks per spring but the add leaves were 100 bucks for both so we'll go with that try that and uh yeah excited to get her uh back on the road on the trails and rolling she's gonna be a good good unit for this year so all right i'm out thanks for watching see you bye